What is up everybody? It's me, Johnny G. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a quick video here to go over the new Fortnite update. It's a little bit late right now, but you know what? I had a long day and I had a lot going on at work. A lot of stuff that I needed to uh, get done. And my uh, my oldest had his first hockey practice today, so it took me a little bit to get home and to get ready so that I could jump into this, check this update out, and to take it from there. But we've got so many cool new things now in Fortnite, starting with those of you that, that were playing here recently should know that they had a Futurama update and basically introduced the characters of Philip J. Fry, Taronga Leela, and Bender. And those, during that, that process, they, they introduced those characters in the item shop, but they also put a small thing in Mega City where it was like the Planet Express ship was crashed into a billboard, Hypnotoad was there, you could hire Bender, Bender's ray gun and stuff was there. That is now gone in favor of a brand new collaboration. And as you guys saw in the thumbnail, that collaboration is none other than another anime collab in the form of Jujutsu Kaisen. And I am super excited about that. I enjoy that series very, very much so, and I'm anxious to see what all changes they've implemented. Because apparently, from the sounds of things, it's not just characters in the item shop that we got this time. We have characters in the item shop, we have an event pass, and we even have some stuff going on in the island. But first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over Twitter here, or X as they call it now. And uh, we're gonna look at some stuff that was posted by Sheena BR and just kind of take a look uh, basically with some leaks and things that came with this update. And then we'll jump in. I'm gonna get those characters, get that event pass, take a look at it in game, jump into the island and see if we can't figure some of this stuff out. Let's go ahead and check out Twitter first. All right, so you guys can see my screen now. We can see Twitter and I'm on Sheena's page. Back to the point of pre-update. Now, first things, things that got leaked is we have a new WWE collaboration coming in the form of Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair, two of the top tier women superstars in WWE right now. And honestly, I'm, I'm excited for that, mainly for Becky. I'm more of a fan of B uh, Becky than I am Bianca. But as far as WWE goes, I'm hoping that this is just the beginning between John Cena and these two being involved. And even with The Rock, the fact that he's involved with Fortnite, I'm hoping that in the future we get even more WWE superstars and may maybe some characters uh, created for like the New Day. The New Day are really, really prominent, popular tag team superstars that really would fit into the Fortnite world. I think that would be a really great choice for them to add in. Now, we also have new shop sections that were added. Rainbow Royale is coming back, Jujutsu Kaisen, more Marvel stuff, Fortnite Championship Series, and Not Fury's Locker. Now, as far as the images and things that started to come out, we got this one initially, which you can see one of the characters here basically just kind of giving you some quick insight from the trailer. There is an event pass. Uh, let's backtrack this. There's a little trailer. Not the highest quality though. Nice. Okay. And we have some cursed loot llamas on the loose that if you guys take care of, apparently will give you special abilities. Now I'm excited for that. But what else do we have? We have a new lobby background. So now obviously we see somewhere that's like a little bit outside of Mega City, maybe somewhere like a Kenjutsu Crossing here that uh, looks looks to be an area like that. First llamas are roaming on the island. Break one and it'll drop two cursed techniques, straw doll technique and hollow technique purple. Again, there is an event pass. So if you guys have been playing recently and you saw when they did the Star Wars, the Clone Trooper uh, series and Darth Maul, Darth Maul was part of the event pass. There's a free tier as well as a purchase tier, which I believe it doesn't show here, but I believe that the purchase tier is probably going to be like a 1000 V bucks roughly, which is what the uh, event pass was for Star Wars, if I remember correctly. Um, 
season four downtime is confirmed to start 2 a.m. on August 25th. Now, today is August 8th when this update hit and when I'm recording this, hopefully get this uploaded on the 8th. If not, it'll be up on the 9th. But either way, we have basically 12... 17 days. We have 17 days left. Sorry, my math is a little bit slow. I'm tired. It's been a long day. We got some new concept skins here. Looks... Now, this is just a thought, obviously, because of the rainbow stuff that maybe this is going to be part of the Rainbow Royale, but I don't know for sure. Um, but we also have this Galaxy Crossfade variant and FNCS bundle that are coming as well. Very interesting. Very interesting. I like that helmet. I think that would actually be cool to make in real life, like as a cosplay prop. But, uh, alrighty. We have two new loading screens, which obviously I used this one for my thumbnail. We have that one for Jujutsu Kaisen, and then we have this one featuring Dr. Sloan. Very intriguing. I don't know why this kind of, I mean, I get it's the wild area, but all the mushrooms and stuff gives me vibes of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, the end of the first one where, uh, oh, in the beginning of the second one where Robotnik was on the mushroom planet. We have this new starter pack that's coming, this Hacksaw. Put the hack in hack and slash. Uh, looks like there's not going to be an event apparently to end this season, which kind of sucks, but I have a feeling that Fortnite is aiming for more of a let's have an event that ends the chapter and begins the next chapter, and if there's something really, really big that they need to tell story-wise, that they will go ahead and uh, introduce an event at that point, but otherwise right now, they're playing out their events and things through the quests and through the story, so you have to pay attention to that stuff if you want to know the story and understand what's going on with the characters and things. Um, we have another new skin. The code name is Hornetta Vine. Kind of reminds me of Poison Ivy a little bit. Two encrypted sets, Slip Judge and Hover Truth. Both of these are the WWE collaboration. So obviously those are related to Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. Um, the update includes four encrypted sets, two of these new skins. Not sure if both are used for WWE, but doubt it. The other two likely include new icon emotes. The Fortnite Championship Series will be available after, or will be available until August 21st at 8 p.m. We also have... They are, uh, Epic has prepared another season four advertisement tweet for Sunday, August 20th. So in around then is when we really should start finding out more. It'll be a couple days ahead of time, but we'll start getting those tweets and those teases and things that are gonna start coming out probably even before that slightly. I'd, I'd give it maybe 10 days from now and we'll start seeing more and more from the leakers and from these people here like Sheena and Fortnite VR feed and stuff like that where they are gonna get wind and catch wind from other people and start to post the things about season four. I'm anxious to find out where it's gonna go. Now, there apparently was a new augment that actually got disabled pretty quickly, and it was called Fire Armory. It basically granted you a Dragon's Breath shotgun and a Dragon's Breath sniper. Those would have been cool, but I don't know why, and, it, and obviously it doesn't seem to be something known as to why they disabled it so quickly. Maybe there was something wrong. We have our Fortnite WWE teaser, obviously with the uh, the color scheme. It's it's kind of neat and it, it lends to the two that are coming. We have the Mammoth Pistol getting nerfed, basically less damage on long distance and less headshot damage. Kind of sucks, I was just getting used to using that, but uh, it is what it is. And that's pretty much it, so not too much, but now, without further ado, let me get this headset on. Let's get Fortnite up. We're going to jump in, see if we can find those cursed llamas. We're going to check out the new Jujutsu Kaisen characters and check out the event pass. Here we go. All right, so here we go. We're logging in. First time since the update happened. And here we go. Curse technique, straw doll technique. Curse llamas are roaming on the island. Break one as some carry the straw doll technique. A technique that grants a swift hammer combo that launches nails filled with cursed energy. Break the curse, premium reward track upgrade. Yes, a thousand V-Bucks. You'll earn the cursed energy to unlock additional cosmetic rewards, including the streetwear Yuji Itadori outfit. And basically just introducing, we have 
Jujutsu Kaisen. We have sorcery expertise and incomparable style. Yuji Itadori's peers, Megumi Fushiguro, Nobara Kugisaki, and teacher Satoru Goju. Gojo, sorry. I butchered that name, didn't I? Anyways, make their way to the island. A lot of the characters in this series, for whatever reason, get me tongue twisted when I try to say their names. I'm just bad. I, I haven't started season two yet, so no spoilers, please. <laughs> All right, so here we go. First of all, let's go into the item shop. Let's take a look, because I bought a bunch of V-Bucks to get ready for getting them. All right. So I guess let's, let's just check out everything, and we'll go up to the top, and then we're going to buy the Jujutsu, eh, Jujutsu Kaisen characters. All righty. Special offers and bundles. Nothing too crazy in here. Already got the level up quest pack. We've got DJ Bop. We got the Turn the Music Up bundles. A bunch of emotes and stuff. Coachella stuff is in. The Kid Leroy. J Balvin bundle. Polo. Daily. Which, this is a new character too, if you guys haven't see seen. Excuse me. We have Jittershock. Very intriguing character. Kind of reminds me of almost like a... Like somebody that you'd use as an avatar in something like an MMO or, or just whatever, like an online avatar of some sort. Diabolical Bundle, Singing Siren, Rubix's Locker, and then here we go with the Jujutsu Kaisen characters. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get Gojo. I'm actually going to equip him. And that's funny comes with the sweet selection back bling. I love it. Help yourself to one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then we have Fushiguro. That's cool how he has cone. The sword and then the emotes with his uh, shadow play dog and Max Elephant. Those are pretty neat. I like the uh, them staying pretty good. And then Nobara. Grab these bundles here. You get the signature straw doll and her hammer. All right. And then last but not least, let's let's go ahead and we're going to randomize some stuff up here. Mm. Actually, you know what? Let's use the sword. Let's build off build off a few of these. We'll just go ahead and use the sword for him. And then there isn't a glider, at least right now, so I will randomize that one at least. And we will randomize the wraps. Apply to all. And then they don't come with anything yet as far as a loading screen. None of them had. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Emotes. I'll put on the Shadow Play Dog. I like that one. All right. Boop, boop, boo, doo, doo. Kind of interesting seeing these characters wield guns. Now we have these break the qu break the curse bonus goals. These are the quests that coincide with the event pass. We'll go over and look at that screen in just a moment. But right now we have if you complete all grades zero out of five, you get the which I'm assuming is supposed to be a glider. You're getting this as the glider, and then I can't think of the name for whatever reason. I'm blanking on that. Um, and complete grade four quests to earn grade three. So it appears that you're doing these different grades in order. Help on hunting cursed llamas, collect hollow purple or straw tech straw doll technique in different matches, damage opponents using hollow purple or straw doll technique, travel under different bridges, damage opponents using assault rifles, visit different named locations, and assist in searching chests or ammo boxes. So you get the little frog there, which looks like a back bling, and then you can get the emo as well and looks like banner icons and stuff also but to be sure first things first let's go ahead i want to upgrade because i mean number one we gotta get itadori gotta have him 
I mean, he is... He is part of the main group of characters. He is the main character. New, new A. Something like that. All right. Cone's Bark is a spray. That's pretty cool. So you have a wrap. Instant level up. Cursed Llama. Level up. There's the Jujutsu Sorcerer's loading screen. I hear that. That's funny. Angry Nobara. Um... Wing Toad Summon, level up, Shadow Play Toad, Confused Yuji, Sukamoto Bear, okay, level up, Cursed Energy, huh, that's cool, Yuji's Curse, Cursed Energy Flow, I like that rap, level up, Slaughter Demon Knife, there's Yuji Tadori. And then we're back to the beginning. And then, of course, obviously, if you get done, you'll get him. You'll get that that uh, streetwear version of Itadori. But uh, this saying sorcerers, like I get that that's your technical term or whatnot. But there was a guy on TikTok that makes anime parodies and things. And he made one about people translating the titles of Japanese anime and stuff like that. And how this one he was like uh he was pretending like he was talking with someone that was when the first season was premiering and they were all excited because they were gonna go home and watch sorcerer fight and it was it was hilarious just for the sake of the fact that it was trying to play on that anime purist versus the people who like either take the literal translation or they do stuff like that to get under other people's nerves when it comes to anime anime fandom so weird in general but I prefer, I prefer just not to be a jerk. I prefer to watch sub, dub, doesn't matter. I watch whatever. I enjoy it. If I don't, I don't. Whatever is what it is. But let's go ahead. We checked out the event pass. We got the characters. We got everything basically seen to what we need to, except for in-game. So let's jump in. Let's see if we can find these cursed llamas, try out these techniques. And we're going to try out the Gojo skin while we're at it. Let's play a game or two. Alrighty, here we go. Loading into the first game. Just out of curiosity, I know this is a common, but... I mean, that still hits pretty good. Ooh, she ducked. All right, 89 damage there. I mean, it doesn't seem to be reduced that much, so if you're a Mammoth Pistol, pistol user, I wouldn't worry too much about that. No special battle bus or anything this time around, which is interesting, considering how they like to do that for Dragon Ball and Naruto. Um... Let's drop down and around here. Kind of run in uh, through frenzy and stuff like that. Let's see, see what we can do. Poof. Been a while since I played solo there, chap. I actually do want to finish. I think I only have a couple episodes left in season one, and then I need to uh, get into season two. JJK. What's up, random bot that decided to land next to me? That was kind of strange, but all right. All right. Get some shield. Ooh, full shield right off the bat. I love it. I'm wondering if, depending on how this event does, if they will use some of the character styles from Season 2 as opposed to just running the Season 1 ones here, like... 
just a maybe a later kind of thing. Ooh, Havoc Pump. Give me that. Though I am going to take that. All right, where are we? Let's get our bearings. I do need to hunt dinos with this as a quest randomly, but let's keep our eyes out for some loot llamas. Mm, you know what? It's a little bit better. Let's take that. Now I am curious. Just based off that trailer, the hollow purple technique does remind me a bit of how, like, Deku Smash or the Kamehameha or Rasengan, stuff like that worked. So, that sounds pretty cool, but I'm very curious as to how the straw doll technique is going to work. But I guess if we get the proper chance here, we'll find out, shall we? Just keep your eyes peeled for a raptor. Hello. What is this? Straw doll technique. Okay. Let's take it. We'll find out how this works. So somebody found one or killed a llama already. Hello. Raptors. Okay, completed that quest. Yeah. That was a level up, baby. Llamas, llamas, llamas. I'm not seeing a llama anywhere. Let's hatch an egg. See Gojo riding a dino. <laughs> Whoa! That was, uh, incoming there. Whoever that was, was on a rampage, and I... I think if they were really interested in killing me, they would have stopped. I hear some shots. Can I use this off of the back of the dino? No, it doesn't appear so. Well, oh, can't use it again. Oh, is this a... I like turtles, kid. Ah, okay. So you can continuously reuse it, it seems. Interesting. Guys, as you should know by now, I'm definitely not the best player in the game, but so far I'm having a uh, not too bad match here so far. But I'm still hunting this elusive cursed llama. What was that? It sounded like some chimes or something around. All right. I don't have any heals. Which is probably detrimental to me. 
I'm not finding a lot of ammo either. Which is also probably detrimental to me. Epic. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Thermal DMR and gauntlets. I'm good. All right. Make a muddy gojo. Muddy buddy. Some ammo over here at least. And I ran right through it. Oh, I can't pick up any more of that. What do we got here? More of that. Okay. I hear some shots nearby. Get this ammo. Get a heal just in case we need it. Lots and lots of heavy ammo. Let's get up here and see if we can get another uh, kill with the straw doll technique. I heard you. I'll take that. Here we go. Where are you? Do 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 do. Mom, people. You're all hiding from me. We're in the top 25 right now. I haven't seen a llama. And I'm even struggling to find players. I hear you, though. Got that guy. Oh, ho. here we go. Okay. Man, nobody's carrying ammo right now. What is this? Another, uh, another hammer. This place was kind of wrecked. I've got keys, so I'm just going to open this for ammo. I don't want the DMR. I just want the ammo. I wonder if this is the same way. Will I get to recharge and reuse it? Or is this one, unlike the straw doll technique, is this one just going to be a... You use it and it's done. Mud Warrior. I want to be ready. In case I run across anybody, but... Let's see. There's the island. There's always guaranteed to be somebody running in that direction, usually. Do I hear shots? Do I hear shots? Kind of skirt along the edge here. Oh, there's one right there. Can't believe I missed that earlier. So you don't necessarily just have to kill the... You don't just have to kill the uh, 
llamas, apparently, to get the items, they will spawn in some places as well. At least that's what it seems like. For as many people as I've uh, run across and no llamas that have all had it, or <clears throat> something. What's up, buddy? Can I have these? All right. You need to find somebody that can try this hollow purple one. It did say I needed to travel under bridges, so let's go run under this bridge real quick. Hee <laughs> hee. There we go. I wonder if this will attract anybody. Circle's coming in. Top 10. This does not feel like a top 10 circle right now, though. The sound effects can actually be a little bit overwhelming from these items. It's neat that they've added a sound effect like this, you know, to them, as opposed to, like, the, the Smash and the Kamehameha, which really didn't have anything until you actually used it, but, you know, a little bit of an ambient noise is cool. Yeah, see, that's just spawning in the region, in the area. I mean, that's cool, but... It saves you having to find the llama, but I want to find a llama. But, uh, but yeah, the ambient noise with the items, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Like, just holding that out, kind of, uh, kind of a little bit overwhelming if you're trying to listen for enemies, listen for footsteps and stuff like that. Uh, we got shots going on up there. Looks like underneath or on the island. I see somebody up there. Definitely don't really feel like going to fight there because most likely I'll die. I never have good luck. What is up, Volpez? All right, now we're getting some ammo. Now we're playing Portal. All right, let's play our cards a little bit closer here. Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> well, we didn't get to use Hollow Purple. Let's try another game. All right. Second match. Here we go. <laughs> the Gojo with Bender Jr. Benjamin. Hmm. Kind of feeling like... Hmm. Kind of feeling like going either to Slappy and then working down or just going to Mega City. I don't know, maybe I'll do that. Let's go to Mega City.
And here we go. All right, so two things we need to do this time. We need to find a loot llama, a cursed loot llama, and we need to find the hollow purple technique and use it. My eyes are kind of scouring the land below to see if I could see a llama anywhere. Just from the picture alone, they almost look like they would be pretty obvious, but that remains to be seen. Poof. Okay. There we are. I hear it. And don't need or want both of those. Hello. Let's go. What do you got for me? Legendary. I'll take it. Let's go over here. Let's keep collecting our weapons. We'll just whip those for no apparent reason other than to do it. I had a lot of good ammo to start here. I do indeed love that. Now you watch and see if I don't find a llama in this match and everything becomes royally messed up. No more Planet Express ship. No more Bender. Hmm. Kind of want to bounce for a second. Fly up. Doesn't seem to be anything out this way. I hear somebody though. Bye bye. Buddy, that's why you don't camp. Camping is not good for you. By the way, I'm gonna be that guy, and... All right. Looks like a wolf. Good with that. Still no llamas. Llamas or hollow purple, please. I'd like to at least see a llama. It's probably going to be one of those things where they're even rarer, but like rarer than before. But I don't want to not see one, you know? It's new. It's in the game. I want to see it. Visit different named locations. We are at Kenjutsu Crossing now. Part of it's wrecked up here. I'm just kind of traveling all over the place. Seeing if I get lucky, but... Doesn't appear like that's going to be the case here. Hey, guess what?
I'm trying to capture. Works. I love the wildlife noises in this game, but sometimes they throw you off. Oh, I see you. Gotcha. I could see him moving through the trees just enough. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. The raptor. Yeah, I know, I know. It hurt me too, but you know what? That's what this kind of thing's for. Continue our quest for the uh, elusive llama in the hollow purple technique, shall we? What is that? Is that? Is that what I think it is? Oh my, it is! We found one! We found one, so they spawn in! Okay, you're dying. You're dying for me. All right, so I could technically get both if I wanted to, but I'm good. I am good. We've used the one. Though the fact that it has infinite ammo to an extent is kind of nice. As much as I like the combat shock or combat SMG, I think I'll I think I'll roll with this. All right, now let's try not to jump off of a cliff. We did get to see the llamas. We we saw how that happened. Cool sound effect. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So it does recharge. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Let's see if we can find someone else and try it on. Boing. Got <laughs> the Walking Dead satellite. It's funny. Oh, they still have the Cybertron cannon in. Which, I mean, you kind of figure that's going to be an all-season thing. Alrighty. Still full health and shield. I should reload that. That would be smart. Roaming redeploy. Okay. Bye-bye, bud. 
I was a little bit better at my aim. Things wouldn't be so bad, but my aim's garbage to like 99.9% .9 of the time. Now I'm open for death. But nobody took advantage. So I'm still alive. For now. Very intrigued because we have a dynamic here. A pretty cool dynamic in the sense that with the straw doll technique, it's a much faster flying, faster use technique. The... Uh... Oh, I see. It's not infinite use, but it, it's got a cooldown. The uh, Hollow Purple is a much, much slower... <coughs> much slower attack. You want to be either close range, or... You want to... Uh, you want to be close range to the opponent, or... You want to pretty much... Surprise attack them. I can get another, get a replacement here. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. People are going to start camping those pretty easily for that, uh, for those techniques, but they must have followed me up the hill there. But it is what it is. Let's go back to lobby and let's talk about that. All right, guys. So we have the new update for Fortnite, the Fortnite Jujutsu Kaisen update. Um, basically, the skins, the characters, all the uh, cosmetic stuff I do like. It's really, really cool. I'm enjoying it. Again, I do need to finish... Uh, Let's see. I think it's two or three episodes that I have left in season one. And then I need to start watching season two. But uh, as far as the Cursed Llamas, it's pretty cool how they spawn in and not... I, I mean, typically your Loot Llamas do to an extent just pop up or, or whatever but these you get a sound effect if you're you're running by like i did there with the first one that i came across you'll get that sound effect that really tells you hey here it comes this is it get ready boom then it pops up you attack it you kill it you get both items but i have found in a couple other random places there in the first match that i played that you could potentially find the items, the, the straw doll technique and the hollow purple, you could potentially find those spawned in random spots on the map. So it's not necessarily that, or it's not necessary that you have to kill the llamas to get it. There are alternate ways, though it's probably much, much rarer and randomly chosen. It's not guaranteed to be in those same spots as you, you know, progress across the island and match to match and all that. However, Again, as I, as I was just noting, kind of at the end there before I died, because I, I hesitated and I was too worried about trying to grab the other hollow purple there and use it on that person. It seems like they have a nice dynamic between the two techniques. So instead of using one thing in the sense of Rasengan, Smash, uh, Kamehameha, there were two options. The straw doll technique and the hollow purple. Straw doll seems to have a little bit more of a quicker attack, more range. You get three shots at once and then it recharges. It replenishes sort of like the Cybertron cannon. But the hollow purple, more like the Deku Smash or the Kamehameha or Rasengan, they do run out. That runs out. But after each shot, there is a decent recharge, a decent length of time, cooldown, I should say, before you can use it which is neat. Now, with that being said, the hollow purple is also slower. So you launch the technique, you attack with it, and it moves slowly instead of a rapid, quick ranged shot. So that seems to be something you're going to want to use more up close and personal with somebody or to sneak attack, kind of like that person did to me. Um, ultimately, Ultimately, with those two two different attacks, I think I'm going to have to get a little more used to them first, play it a little bit more, feel it out, and enjoy it. Uh, or feel it out and get the hang of it before I can truly enjoy it. But I do like them as they are now, and I like the fact that there's a balance between the two. Now, they could have 
probably come up with some neat ways to introduce alternate attacks with the previous things. And, and you never know, maybe we'll see that in the future when the collabs, if, if they come back, if, if a special event happens, like say we get something else happens with Naruto and they decide to bring the collab back, the, you know, the skins are back in, maybe they'll introduce something like Lightning Blade or, or uh, you know, something, something like that to where instead of just the Rasengan, you have an alternate item. So this is the first time they've done that. Everything else, it's just been one attack, one item, one done out of it. Um, maybe like for, for My Hero, they could have done something like Bakugo's Gauntlet, you know, where they, they have so much that you could use of his, his secreted glycerin or whatever, and uh, you could use that as an explosive and it'll recharge. Whatever, you know, it's just ideas and things that cross my head based on how they presented themselves here. Now, there's no guarantee they're going to go back and do that. They may just continue on this role with the future. Who knows? Everybody's clamoring for a One Piece collaboration. So you never know what kind of devil fruit type stuff that we may get or, or different uh, gear based attacks that maybe we could we could incorporate into Fortnite using you know using those ideas to make the collaboration more fun like this is so I'm interested in continuing on and grinding up that quest pass as much as possible and getting the Itadori skin and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to be working on that over the next couple of days during my streams and, and stuff like that just to just to continue grinding because we are still pushing for level 200 and we gained a couple as we were playing here, which was nice. But overall, fun collaboration, liking the update, liking those weapons and replacement for the Bender's uh, ray gun. But ultimately... This is going to be another fun one for a bit and probably is going to be the last major thing that we get up until the change for season four with everything else coming between other WWE skins and other character skins. There isn't really anything quite as major as this that was leaked. So it's pretty much obvious that this is our last major update before chapter four season four. With that being said, guys, let me know if you've played the update down in the comments and let me know if you're a fan of Jujutsu Kaisen or, or if you uh, enjoy what they're doing with the with the items as the weapons and, and the character skins, the cosmetics and stuff here. If not, that's OK. Let me know, too. I appreciate that. I like seeing both sides of the conversation. With that being said, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you could. It's helping me grow, and right now we are growing monumentally. We're picking up some speed, and I'm enjoying each and every day checking my YouTube studio and seeing how much you guys are helping me towards my goal of YouTube partner. With that being said, that's it for this one, and I will see you guys in the next video.